Hey guys, we are out on the field today and we're so excited because we're here to show you Milky Way setups. Wah! And we're just gonna hop right into it. First, we're gonna talk about the tripod. You're going to need a very sturdy tripod to do your Milky Way setup. Why? Because you wanna make sure that it's gonna stand the whole night. We have this carbon fiber one here and its usefulness really is its lightweight capacity, which is so awesome. Um, we actually have our old tripod here. This is what we had used for the past eight years. So, I mean, any sturdy tripod's gonna do so. Just doesn't matter which one you pick. So this one is very important yet optional. So a star tracker will help you get much better pictures of the Milky Way. It will allow you to take much longer exposures. Uh, so instead of having to do like, you know, 10, 20 seconds max, you'll be able to do you know, three minutes long exposures. So you'll have much cleaner images, much less noise, but it is optional because this is the most expensive part of the uh, setup. I think now they go from 200 to 400 bucks. Uh, this is a very, very first uh, Star Adventure Pro, so it's very cheap online if you go on eBay or something. But I think the newest ones are uh, a bit more expensive. So this is just um, very simple to use. You just pull our line using, uh, using this lens over here, a polar alignment lens, uh, and find Polaris, and there's an app that comes with it. But um, yeah, it's very, very simple to use. If you're a true beginner, we suggest you just start without it. Uh, but if you want to go deeper into Milky Way photography, um, this is a huge, huge improvement to your pictures for sure. And then next we're going to talk about the ball head. This is really important because if you don't have a ball head attached to your star tracker, you're going to be really confined to just shooting one area of the sky. So here you have a lot of flexibility with where you want to shoot. So ball head is definitely a must do on this Milky Way setup. So next we have the camera. So here we have just a regular DSLR camera uh, from Canon. One thing we suggest adding if you plan to do Milky Way uh, you know, a lot is this thing right here, which is called the battery grip. So this goes over here on the bottom and it replaces your battery. And instead of having one battery in your camera, you can have two batteries in here. So let me just show you real quick. See, you can have two batteries. Um, instead of one. So it's very, very helpful. So your camera never runs out of battery uh, for hours and hours. So we have this here, but everything else on the camera is just stock. And so any camera will work. Uh, if you already have a DSLR camera at home or a mirrorless camera, it's going to be just fine. Uh, you don't need a crazy camera from Milky Way. Uh, we now use the RA, which is a, a really good one for HA regions uh, within the Milky Way, but this one, the 7D Mark II, or the T3i, which we had before, uh, works just fine. And here we have the intervalometer, which is super duper important. It helps you um, choose the exposure time, uh, set intervals, set delays too. And this is actually a wired one that is attached to our camera. But guess what? They also come in, oop, I just detached it. They also come wireless. So you can attach this part to your camera and then you can control it wirelessly. Okay, and lastly, we'll go over the, the last part, which is the lens. So the lens is, of course, very important. This is a, an affordable lens, I think, the Rokinon 10mm lens f2.8. And 10mm is actually very good for Milky Way with cropped sensor cameras. So with our cropped sensor camera, we use 10mm all the time for Milky Way stuff. If we use the RA, which is a full frame camera, we'll go to 14mm, um, because 10 is a bit too wide in our opinion. Uh, yeah, but for an APS-C sensor, uh, 10 is perfect. It's going to give you a very wide view of the whole Milky Way band. If you go under 10, it might look a bit too uh, fish eye for our taste. So be careful with that. But um, 10 and up is perfect. I would say between 10 and 24 millimeter for focal length of, on, your, uh, on your lens is the best for Milky Way. Uh, and then look for the F number. This one is F2.8. Um, our other lens for our um, full frame camera is f1.4, I think, or 1.8, which is great. Um, but yeah, the, the faster the lens, the more light it will capture for the Milky Way, especially if you don't have a tracker. So, uh, very important. Uh, that's pretty much it for the whole setup. So, we have, I think, six parts here. And this one here is once again optional. So, um, yeah, this is, I think, a, a, one of the best possible Milky Way setup you can get um, for the price. So tripod, mount, ball head, intervalometer, DSLR slash mirrorless camera, and lens. Okay, and one last thing, uh, one last tip. Don't do like us and keep this on. 
uh, if you plan to do Milky Way photography a lot, especially with a tracker, uh, take it off because this might get stuck while it's moving around um, and it might completely destroy your setup. And I think uh, this is it. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, very quick and easy. And hopefully you have nice pictures of the Milky Way this summer and uh, good luck. So we'll see you guys next time in clear skies. This video was sponsored by Brilliant. So would you enjoy learning more about science? Hmm, well, Brilliant.org is an online platform that provides tons of lessons related to astronomy, math, and other types of sciences. Yes. The layout of the lessons is very simple to navigate and can be completed on your computer or mobile device. We are in love with the astronomy-related lessons and the fact that they are interactive really helps in the learning process as it almost feels like a game. Yeah. If you find yourself busy most of the time, kind of like me and Antoine, it really is so simple to just spend like 15 minutes a day, any day of the week, uh, learning something new. And new content is always added each month, so that is really cool. Yes, go train your brain. <laughs> so to try everything Brilliant has to offer for 30 days free, visit the link in our description. And the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.